crocodile hunter here back from the dead um we're going to try to take a closer look at some things now here we see the beautiful fish trying to keep an eye out for our catfish oh look there he is you can see him behind the oscar there sitting in the plants we've got the catfish there he is you can see him right there he's sleeping or something of course he's big beautiful gargantuan convict cichlids with oscars and goldfish and all kinds of other things yes normally these species would not be able to coexist number one they are usually natural enemies and would tear each other apart number two the ph balance and bacteria balance required between goldfish and tropical fish is usually incompatible so please do not try this at home unless you are a trained professional. Aren't these things beautiful? There's our Placostomus algaeta. Well, there's the catfish swimming on the bottom now. You can see him there. Ooh, let's see if he wants to say hi. There he is. Ooh, good little catfish. Swimming around with all sorts of stuff that you would not normally see a catfish swimming around with. Much less all this other stuff. As you can see, the gargantuan sized goldfish, we got them originally as feeders and put them in the pond, and in two months they grew to enormous sizes. Bloody amazing. Look at all this. We're approaching on two minutes of video, so I guess we've somehow gotten past the normal video limit here. There's the convict cichlid. There's the Oscar moving down towards the lake catfish like you would normally find in Lake Michigan or a pond or a stream in Chicago, Illinois. Here comes the catfish. There he is. Isn't he pretty? Up next to the Oscar there. He's a really neat little catfish there. Let's get to the above view. We see here the overhead view of the fishies. 